Cut, prep, tack, weld. That is the mantra here at the ARC Academy. Now, before you tack and before you weld, you always want to clamp your material together first because of distortion. Distortion will make your material move out of place. Now, we've set up a little experiment here. What we're gonna do is we are going to weld without clamping, and then we're gonna weld with tacking, and then we're gonna tack properly and show all the different effects. So, for this particular one, what we're gonna do is a fillet weld on this 14 gauge two inch square tube, and we've already prepped our material, we're already ready to go, but we're gonna do a fillet weld right through this right joint here, and then we're gonna see the effects of the distortion within the material. So, let's fire it up. We'll do this one first. <clears throat> So as you can see, we didn't tack, we didn't clamp, we just did a fillet weld right through this right corner joint here. And while it is cooling off, you can see that it, on the opposite side, the steel, the tube is moving toward the weld. So right now it's becoming out of position. Now, if we were to clamp this down and do the same thing, we would have less. So let's go ahead and do that. Prep the material, push it down. Now we're gonna use a clamp to make sure it's clamped together and I need a piece of material to hold that into position. All right. All right, so it's nice and clamped down now. Now we're gonna try it again, same thing. Cover. Same weld, but now we're going to remove the clamp pretty quickly. Set that one aside. Now we're going to do one with tacking. I'm going to clamp it together first and hold it into position with the clamp, then tack. Cover. Now, there's two things tacking does. First and foremost, it assists the clamp as a secondary clamping me mechanism to restrict the movement of distortion in the material to prevent your, your form, whatever you're fabricating, of moving out of place. Second thing it does, it acts as a safety net. Basically what happens is if you see that you're out of position or you're out of alignment after you tack, it's pretty simple to go back in, chop off a few tacks and save the piece. Just move it back into position, re-tack and then weld. Now, if we bring these all back into place, you're gonna notice something about all three of them. The one that was not clamped at all has an opening here starting to push over. The one that was clamped has a little less, but we took the clamp off so quickly, we're still gonna get that heat and cooling distortion moving toward the heat or move, moving toward the weld as it is cooling. For the tacked one, you can see it's completely flush and even on all sides because we clamped it into position and we made sure that we tacked it properly, each time moving away from the last point of heat to prevent the uh, distortion. 
So, when you are welding and fabricating anything together, always tack your material together first.